Matter of fact, matter of fact, I'll start the recording right now so that even the people watching this VOD on YouTube will hear this. I am never going to move to Alberta. You can, you can quote me on that. I'll never move to Alberta. I mean, maybe if I can get a house there. Okay, uh, so we're playing Gladiator today. Uh, we are playing a rat scam list. Now I get a lot of messages. I get a lot of DMs. I get a lot of people sliding in. And sometimes it's just kind of creepy where it's somebody coming in and be like, Hey, dot, 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 smiley face. And it's like, okay, oh, all right, well, going to ignore that one. Uh, but sometimes I get, you know, genuine questions, heartfelt questions. I try to respond to a, them, but also, uh, I hate discord. And so I'll look at a discord thing and be like, Oh, <laughs> and then I'll do it later or forget about it. But, uh, Amico Huber messaged me and said, Hey, I just wanted to let you know, uh, that I ported me and some other people on the discord were working on porting over rat scam slash eight rat uh in gladiator and here's the list that we've come up with and i saw that and went great i know what i'm gonna waste my time in gladiator with and by waste my time i mean you know play there's no yeah there's no davriel in here so maybe eight rack is not or eight rat is not the 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 right kind of rundown uh, but it is very rat scam esque. If you don't know what rat scam is, it was a. I was looking for deck list for a North 100 showdown, a Canadian Highlander throwdown, and I found the list that I posted in chat, and I'll have this list in the description of the VOD of a deck that came second at like a monthly tournament in Ontario. And it was just, to me, it looked like this, it had the workings of the. The, uh, uh, the like alternate universe, the bizarro world ruin your evening where it's a bunch of cheap black creatures that disrupt your opponent that are just really annoying to trade with or do anything with. Then you suit them up. Uh, I mean, we, <laughs> you would clamp them or you would just use them as blockers as you get to take the initiative, that kind of thing. We don't have the luxury of skull clamp or the initiative, uh, in gladiator. We do have Transmogrant's Crown and some other goofy cards. I mean, we have the One Ring. That's pretty good. So uh, that deck, spoiler alert, did win the match um, spe in spectacular fashion. And so I was like, yeah, this, this sounds like the kind of stuff I could jam. So here's their list exactly. I have not made any changes. I think if I were to make some changes, maybe like putting in... Uh, we have a Valky. If we're ever going to cast Tybalt Cosmic Imposter, then maybe you can consider just playing like a Raucous Theater or or something. Just get one of those duels. Um, but yeah, this deck, uh, extremely goofy is what I want to say. Extremely goofy. You got cheap black creatures. You got overpowered black cards that hopefully if you draw enough of them you could be like i won a game with my elder fang disciple deck and then your actual play pattern was like thought sees you on one bow masters your dork play a graveyard trespasser you can't deal with into shieldred or whatever so you know <laughs> we'll we'll see we'll see how it goes uh no this corrupt court official look they printed corrupt court official uh in uh, new capenna we have the court official. <sighs> yeah, the skull clamp at home is pretty good. This card's this card is pretty strong. Um, obviously, clamping your one toughness cards is probably where you'd prefer to be. But yeah, I don't know. This seemed like a fun little thing that we could stream for a bit and uh, take a crack at. I'm gonna put on some music. I'm gonna take off my headphones. And uh, I'm going to see who wants to fight. Who's thinking about fighting? Who's who's down to scrap? Who wants to tully? Who wants to tussy? Nope, don't say that. CJ Wilson, please fight me. Don't say that. Best of three. Uh, I still want to do a Winota stream. 
Have I tried Vo Voya and Highlander, the new one? No, way too expensive. Five drops in Highlander are mostly unplayable, just like as, as a flat rate. If you see a card and it costs five mana, uh, you should just operate on the assumption that it's unplayable, even if it is green um, and, you know, big. But it's just like five mana is so much mana. Okay, so hear me out. If I draw a land, I think I got a mulligan this. I can duress turn one. If we draw a land, we can get a turn two Soren, which is kind of funny. I don't exactly want the first game of the day to be one where I keep this hand and it doesn't work out. So I'm going to mulligan. Would you look at that? I have a totally reasonable hand. Which is I control die. I'm going to keep this hand. Rankle's kind of funny. What is Rankle actually doing here? I mean, I could probably do this. Yeah. Probably do this. Sneep, you coward. It's going to go very poorly if I kept that. I guarantee it. Was it doing last Yellow Jacket tournament that one of the commenters presumably only half jokingly said any five mana card in Canlander is a win more card? I mean, that sounds like something I would say. Yeah, five mana is so much mana. There are certain five mana cards that you can get away with in green uh, or dark ritual decks or whatever. Um, but not... Five mana is not something you should expect to be able to cast outside of that. Certain There are certain exceptions too, right? But it's just like... five. I look at Voya and I see a five mana overstatted card, but it's one that cares about elves while not being an elf itself, not having an ETB, and just being a little unnecessary. Oh. Uh, yeah, you already got more cards than God. Let's just draw some cards. Oh, that's a pretty, this is a sick combo actually. Oh, are we doing some enchantress shenanigans? Oh, my rankle. The enchantment exile cards are pretty are pretty good against mono black, uh, and specifically a mono black list uh, that has used a slot on Xander's Wake here. I'm gonna just pass. Uh, yeah. Oh, are you getting an incarnation? Am I just against incarnation? This this seems. Pretty terrible for Mono Black. <laughs> My friend and I are new to Highlander and he played a game with your spell seeker walk list. What does that deck hook can do? I just want to better explain the play pattern to him. Get the card spell seeker into play. Oh, you found a Sithis. Um that deck, if you have the card spell seeker and a shitload of mana. Uh, you are going to win the game. I didn't want to I didn't want to uh, play the sword because it just opens me up to like I kind of want this to be a surprise, you know. Um, like even here, I might. I mean, I think I should sword equip, play the land, because they're priced to trade with this token. Although Bowmasters plays pretty well into Sithis, so they would have to get rid of the Sithis. They just take it, holy smokes. Because we can kill off that, draw a card. Play out this. They might want this in their graveyard. Oh, or or the oops. <laughs> yeah, I want to get something out of this because their deck has so much exile removal that I'm pretty worried that I'm just kind of losing on cards. They get rid of the sword, that makes sense. Drawing a reasonable amount of lands here. I'm just gonna boot this up. Um, yeah, let's get the cleric out of here. Could hit the helm or the rune because I'm worried about Luris, but I, I don't really know what their deck's looking to do. <clears throat> so you cast Spellseeker. Well, that's a good magic card. That's fair. The best thing to deal uh, with a Bowmasters is your own Bowmasters. Ooh. Uh, 
Uh, well, this Bowmasters is a little awkward. I mean, I could take the Slaughter Specialist. It's just big. I could take Tithe Bearer Giant. I mean, Slaughter Specialist lets me double spell. I'm going to take the Slaughter Specialist. We actually got to draw a card off this. It paid for itself. Ahoy, Jules. What up? <laughs> the virus beetle. I mean, this is kind of hot. You get to kill their Sithis. Oh, I didn't. Oops. I forgot about this card. Sequencing error. God, I hope somebody got fired for that. Sorry, I don't play with this card because I don't think it's particularly good. So I don't know what it does. But I'll take that trade. We get to draft the card from here. Tavern Swindler. Oh, Monty Fangblade. They have cards in their hand, so this fire spiel is not super exciting. I kind of want to play... Gwen Stefani at least attacks into their board, so I think I'm going to take Gwen Stefani. Although in hindsight, this card does not look like Gwen Stefani. Somebody called this card Gwen Stefani at YJ like 15 years ago or whenever the set came out. And uh, it's all I've ever called it, but I don't think I've actually looked at the card. Hi Jules, hi Ben. Hi Subwow, hi Ben. Maybe a different art? No, I think it's the same art. Maybe maybe it's the digital. Like the the taking it from It does look No, it, it looks the same. It, I mean it looks a little more washed out here, but This card was in New Capenna. I mean it makes sense. It seems like a New Capenna card. Galax. Everything was? Yeah. <laughs> Turns out Turns out. Ooh, Othakaya. Isn't that a Japanese bar? Good joke, streamer. Uh, am I booting up? I think, again, I'm holding this for some extra damage. And I'm booting up this. And I'm, I'm just crunching. I'm, I'm going to the dome. Uh, let's get the Sithis out of here. Maybe I should get the binding, but I feel like the Sithis is actually the way they come back into this game. Like Lurus into Sithis into Oath. That's a lot of mana that they don't have, but. Yeah, I'll play into a Wrath. I've got this, I got this land, so it's not the end of the world. Also, we get to draw a card off Sanders Wake if we kill, if they kill our stuff. Aborea, welcome back for the 54th month. What up? Howdy, Wheeler. Hope you're having a great day. Guess who gets to play IRL Paper Canlander for the third week in a row? Question, though. What should my next deck be? Currently on Goblins, I want to try a completely different play style. Hmm. Um, oh, that's interesting. Why you shock that? You Calyx? I think if you Calyx this, shoot that. I mean, and then I boot up that. They take three block. So the one damage. No worries. Warm up game. <laughs> Boot up this and smack. It's very funny that I just have this grizzly bear. <laughs> like I just got a free grizzly bear and it rules. Um, hmm. lands combo. lands combo to spoil the decks i mean it's not really a spoiler every time i say this i'm like oh, not to give it away but like moxfield basically gives it away um i played jacob's uh jacob Varro's five color thorical lands list Ooh, this hand looks like it could be crap but I think I'm going to keep it. We have a draw engine against a relatively low pressure deck. We have a fatal push that we can use against one of their... They mulliganed as well. This is relevant. Cards get This card gets much better on um, 
on a mulligan. Yeah, we can like deal with a Sithis. We can deal with a... Um, I'm not going to... Well, now they, they play this tap land, so I am going to cycle this. I wasn't going to cycle to Bowmasters. Who the whelp? Rat. <laughs> oh, I didn't even explain the combo. Sorry. Holy shit. Jules. Uh, Jules, <laughs> Jules donated $50. Thanks for all you do, bud. Uh, now... I will take your money, but you really don't. I mean, thank you so much. That's that's incredibly generous, Jules. That's uh, that means a lot. Am I listening to the StarCraft soundtrack? No, I'm listening to uh, what is this? Light a wash by Kevin McLeod. Oh, you gotta take your money. I should actually put this up. I was going to wait. I'm bad at taking people's money. Just a heads up. I mean, a lot of you already know this. Um, but I am not good at doing that. But I would be a terrible cult leader. Yeah, truthfully. Me as a cult leader? Uh, what works good for you? <laughs> like... I have just taken, just taking a bunch of, we already did that, uh, new PC up five year stream, anniversary PC upgrade. <sighs> I don't know. I don't want you to, I don't want people to spend all their money. When... What button? What do you mean the enter button? Well, no, we quite literally don't need money. Wait, no, where are you going? <laughs> oh, see, I'm sorry. No, did I time out? I didn't mean to time you out. Oh my God. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to see you well said no. <laughs> oh, fuck. I didn't mean to time you out. Oh, <laughs> Wait, do they? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> I'm sorry. Didn't mean to time you out. Uh... Yeah, I I should probably put up this thing, uh, this goal. I thought I got DC'd. Oh, no. All right, run back. Less misplays. Let's go. All right, all right. They thought that they DC'd. We take that. We we count that. We count, we count that as a W. I think I win in that game, but you know. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. But before I tra get along the line here, Mucho Mango Best Drink is asking about Seeker Walk. So you resolve the card Spell Seeker and you find Ephemerate. You Ephemerate targeting your Spell Seeker to find the card Time Walk. You cast Time Walk, giving you an additional turn. You go to your additional turn and then Ephemerate triggers on upkeep due to rebound and you target your spell seeker yet again. Uh, here, there are a couple of different points that you can go down. You can find a Eladamri's Call, or a Green Sun Zenith, or an Eldritch Evolution, or a Finale of Devastation, whatever. A way to find an Eternal Witness or a Timeless Witness into play. And then uh, you... Sorry, I just read Sibwa's post. And then you take infinite turns because you eternal witness or timeless witness the ephemerate. You ephemerate targeting the witness. Uh, you then get, when well, the witness comes back, gets back the time walk and you take infinite turns that way. 
Yeah, Call of the Ring. Hu Zhao's favorite magic card. This card is pretty hot, though. It's it's quite good. Wow Jewels would rather give money to the white man streamer than an unemployed trans woman shaking my head. Okay, hold on. Now, not to defend Jules, just because, you know, I am the recipient of this money. And notice how I didn't even lead on the white Latino. Uh, so while you are notorious for giving way too money, even though way too much money, way too money, you're, you're notorious for giving way too money, uh, of giving me money when I tell you uh, not to. If anything, I think it should be illegal for mods to give money to streamer. Way too money. <laughs> oh, ooh, Liliana. Liliana's kind of hot here. Oh, Chup Chupacabra is also quite good. Um, Yeah. I mean, at this point, I do get the one ring going if I play the Chups, but I kind of just want a Liliana here because it uses my mana, not super well, but nothing uses my mana well in this hand, but it just gets this into play like in a spot where I want to get that card off the table. Of course, fucking of course. <laughs> uh, this this deck has, has targeted hand attack though, right? Hello, Is this thing on? I hate this stupid card. Can't even read this card. Croc back for the 48th month. Hey, Ben, real quick. Super important. Ah, uh, that is all carry on. Oh, thank you, Croc. Thank you for uh, everything you do and everything you... Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh, annoyed and confused back for the 10th month. Howdy, howdy. Excited to play updated slime against humanity against you tomorrow. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to getting slimed. Oh, death touch and trample. Is that good? I feel like this is the one card that actually makes this play. Like I'm not losing my mind, right? I mean, this is a bad block because I just trample over. I'm not losing my mind. Like this is just like not the right way to do this. Or what I did was, is the, like, it makes sense. Unscrupulous agent. Oh, it's an ETB. Fuck, this deck is so soft. <laughs> Dude, all these ETBs. Oh. I've got no screws. I mean, this troll might be able to just kill them. The sick post-combat whelp. What does the deck scam mean? Like hyper aggro that steals kills or something? No, scam initially started as a Stoneforge Mystic card advantage machine. And then it ended up evolving into the a term used for decks that uh look to take advantage of like the evoke mechanic or uh creatures with etbs that tend to put themselves in the graveyard very easily and then you get them back <clears throat> if you want me to make loli donate more money i'm currently in their walls no it's okay <laughs> it's okay it's fine it's fine <laughs> jesus but i mean i appreciate it Revelark style decks? You know, yeah, somewhat. Eggs, eggs, e oh, right. Eggs. Fucking Elish Norn is going to do that. Oh. Damn, I'm getting absolutely farmed by this card. Ooh. Doesn't do anything. I mean, can we get back the troll? I don't have enough mana, right? Five, six, seven? No. Not even close. Not even close. Uh, let's spin the wheel. I mean, I don't think... Am I winning this game with this morbid opportunist? This is some shit right here. 
All right, I, I think I got to get lucky. I got to find something to kill this card. Mm, I don't think that's it. Am I playing this? I think I have to play this, actually. Yeah, I died to this card quite a bit. It's it's pretty good against uh, decks like this. I mean, it's pretty good. Truthfully, this card is just really good at, like, shutting down people trying to do goofy stuff. Because often goofy stuff is, like, you know, engine decks. Basically, decks that are using uh, all these pieces together. Oh, that's one way to kill them. My kingdom for an Orcish Bow Masters. Where's my Caracas? Add Caracas to Arena, cowards. Uh, George, welcome back for the third year. Holy smokes. <laughs> I'm going to read this out loud. But I really wish I didn't have to. Hi, Benjineering. You've always been my favorite Ben on Lur. Hey, thank you so much. It's always nice to meet a fan. Uh. Hold on. Am I killing this thing? I guess there's a world where I could kill this thing first. <clears throat> alright, alright, alright. The game plan is still working. Wait, don't. Not that way. Come on. Give me, like, a Doom Blade or something. Oh. <laughs> Okay, okay. So I should have chupacabra I mean, in hindsight, I should have chupacabra It's just so awkward if they, like, double spell next turn. And I just have this Liliana that's just not doing anything. Yeah, I'll keep. <laughs> Look at this curve. Bowmasters into biting palm their hand into uh, Henrika. Or Chups. Kind of hot. Where does Dandy Geek land on Lur Benz? Hey, hey, hey. As far as official Benz go, there's only two. Let's be very, let's be clear. I like Ben. But let's be clear. Hiya. Yeah. It hit me. Ooh. Well, they could bowmasters my bowmasters. There's nothing that they can Heliod right now. I mean, they could just play Heliod. I think I'm taking the bowmasters to keep my bowmasters. They could start loading up on Sanctum Weaver. We can Henrika them. Hmm. Rune of Sussy. Gotcha. Can you be Frank? I mean, if you'd like. Ooh, do I shoot this to stop them? I think I shoot the Sanctum Weaver. Because it stops them from playing the, the second rune. I mean, they could if they want. If they just want a cantrip. The Restoration of a Ganjo. Of E Ganjo. Here's a Henrika Domnathy. Uh, I want you to sacrifice a creature. Mostly that Sanctum Weaver. Smack them for a bunch. They get to get back the Sanctum Weaver, but it comes into play tapped. Which is fine. Oh, Doom Foretold. <clears throat> Hell yeah. Um, I think I want to choops this because I want to push a bunch of damage and get as many permanents in place so that this doom foretold is ideally not ruining my day. I think I'm just transforming it right away too because we hit them down to six. We got Henrika in the bo on the uh, the flip side to just like pump the team, and by that I mean pump the Henrika. 
I mean, if you swap to being Frank, then Ben starts being in the clear for doxing you in that one VOD. That was barely doxing. If you think that's do- I haven't even s begun to dox. Um... Chat voted on it? Yeah, but have you have you met chat? As somebody that's been doxxed before. Uh doxing is infinitely more sinister than uh also just like the cat there's there are different types of doxing. There's the obvious like you said a thing that I didn't like on the internet, so I'm gonna dox you. Uh, and try to ruin your life because I have nothing else, uh, in mine. And, uh, then there's the, like, casual doxing where it's just like, Hey, just so you know, I found where you live through Facebook photos. And it's like, oh, cool. I, I mean, how? And they're like, well, I, f <laughs> well, I found this house and this house and while there wasn't the address visible I was able to find out because of these trees in the background and it's just like what? 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 it's fuck uh I'm gonna mulligan that I'm gonna keep that hive uh I mean I think this this is a look at this rat scam hand in action yeah, that's straight up stalking. They did it, the way that they did it was in very much like a, oh, like, just want to let you know this is, like, I was able to find you. And like, but I, I don't give a shit. I've been thinking about this recently because I've been trying to find, like, old photos that I had on a Facebook account before I deleted it and everything. Um, that, oh, I'm so good at this game. I cannot believe how good at this game I am. Just trying this bowmaster. Uh huh. You heard the story of Ki of Kibler that went outside and people were like, "Damn, you really do live here." Yeah, I heard that one. Um. Jukai naturalist. All right, just one time no Elish Norton, and I think we'll be good. One time no Elish Norn, and I think we'll be good. I mean, we can tick this up. If they go like land into uh, Banishing Light on this and then end up Norning me, it's pretty gross. Elish on three would be a real trick. Hey, you never know. They could hit you with the, uh, hit you with the, um, <laughs> what's what's the word I'm looking for? The dark ritual. Oh right, this only costs one to ninjutsu. Holy smokes, busted! <laughs> this card got buffed. I forgot. Mm. Hit you with the beetle. Now let's start eating away at some of these cards in your hand. Shit. Who needs to draw cards when you could just force your opponent to go hellbent? <clears throat> Ooh, makeshift binding. Okay, so this kind of implies that they have a way to get rid of the saboteur. I mean, this blocks it for one turn. That touches a bit of a pisser. Shocks in a land. Heliod? Yeah. Um, hiya. Okay. Discard a card. 
<laughs> Discard a card. Oh, I get two of them? Oh, because it's a cleric. <laughs> Discard a card. Rats. Rats. We're the rats. Please tell me this isn't some fucked up magic card. Oh. <laughs> no, it's like the best tuner. They just get to pop it on the top of their deck and now I can't, I can't hand attack the top of their deck. Incarnation would be pretty bad. Oh, Gloom Shrieker. Okay, I'm okay with this. Yeah, Gloom Shrieker's fine. Uh, I can also just like... They Gloom Shrieker. They don't have black mana. Oh, that's... Oh, no. They have nothing to sack for the Incarnation. Yeah. I'll trade my Hive. Uh for their moon blessed cleric like if they gloom shrieker back heliod dude or you get the omen of the dead if they because they draw that they draw the gloom shrieker i'm going to get the heliod i'm fine actually getting rid of this because i'm going to start um i'm going to start working through their working through their board <clears throat> Minus Lily first. No, I want to force the trade. I'm okay sending that. Uh, yeah, if they take it, they take it. But I'm I'm fine forcing the trade here. Yeah, let's get scrooped. Scroop McDuck. They call me. Nobody calls me that. Don't anybody ever call me that. What was the name of that DuckTales character that everybody was uh, larfing their head off about? They were having a right giggle. Flintheart Glomgold. Yeah, there you go. Beep, <clears throat> Settle the wreckage. Oh, the tomb for Tom. Woo! Woo! Uh, yeah. This is uh, Amiko Huber's list that they sent. I have yet to change it, but I may change it at a later date. <gasps> okay, I I have a theory. I have gold. I'm going to spend that gold on packs. So if I buy Strixhaven packs, eventually I'll just start opening cards from, like I'll have all the rares. So it'll, it'll have to start giving me, yeah, bonus sheet cards. <laughs> Wait a minute, isn't this card, is this card restricted in Timeless? I just have to start opening the bonus sheet cards. What sound does a rat make? Disqueak. Hmm? What do you mean? Oh, no, it's not. Oh, did it get banned in Historic? That's what it was. Where is it? Mystic Archives. Oh! <laughs> I need three swords to plowshares. I need three lightning bolts, three dark rituals, and three counter spells. <sighs> and I also need a bunch of... Um, I need a bunch of uh, fetch lands too. But I'm curious about the Strixhaven cards. Okay, that's not bad. I opened a bunch of Strixhaven. Why is it, wait, what? Why do I have a Wingus and a Dingus? Is it because it's, 
No, it does make sense that it's a double. What? These are these cards are identical, right? What am I missing? Oh, is one of them an alchemy? Oh, that's I didn't even see that. <laughs> Holy shit! This card has two starting loyalty. Oh. <laughs> Holy smokes, two starting loyalty. <laughs> Why? Oh. Nice to shock. I mean, you take it up right away, at least. All right. Yeah, I'm, I'm planning on streaming more timeless. I'm, uh, what am I like diamond? Yeah, diamond four. So we got a ways to go, or I guess we we got a ways to get to Mythic, uh, but that should be fine. It really just takes like a day of just playing, or just sit down and play for a couple of hours. <clears throat> it's funny, I, when it comes to grinding some other games, I've found like grinding Hearthstone games or whatever, it, it's just so easy, right? Like if you win more than you lose, which I tend to do, uh, then it's just so easy to climb ladder uh magic is a much more involved game it feels like like it, you know the best of three especially it really really gets you going it really really takes time to get going is what i mean but i think if i streamed it i don't know i'd be down to play timeless i have a couple of decks that i, I want to play um there's the uh i have the the amulet titan i could replay the winota deck there's that four color winota deck the other one with bow masters that i really liked um there's that vampires deck i've been interested in trying out the the timeless vampires list with like dark ritual into soren into vein ripper looks kind of cool <laughs> no thank you <laughs> no thank you oh I am going to keep. I'm going to keep. I'm going to keep. I'm going to keep. And here's why. I'm greedy and don't want to mulligan into five. Land. Or spell. Shit. I mean, we got a spell. All right. All right. Easy money. Our deck is mostly two drops. Our deck is mostly two drops. We'll be fine. Shit. I mean, if I, I might die before we get, I might die before we get to any of our two drops. But you know. I just run my gladiator decks in timeless. Is that wrong? Can't be wrong. It feels so right. Where's my shadowy back street? I was talking about this. I, I kind of want to put raucous theater in here. I'm so fucking dead. Oh my God. Accelerant into three drop into double spell. You have 10 power on the board. You have more than 10 power on the board now. Okay, I kept a I kept a bit of an interesting hand here. <laughs> Wait, what? Each non-land. Oh, so the last card's a land, I see. Um, so I don't have a good block here here. I'm trading my three mana card for like this. And I'm dead. I'm basically dead. This proliferates to that. Uh, I'm going to play... Oh, and they just get to... Oh, nothing was exiled. They don't get to find anything. Um, yeah. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right, easy. Easy money, easy money, easy money. What does this card do? It's three spore counters? Okay, but they don't have it. They only have two. Nice. So they attack. We have to chump block here. Please don't have a land. Fuck. <laughs> Where's... Close one, close one, close game. Both teams played hard. <coughs> both teams play hard. Both both teams play hard. If I had had a two drop, I think that hand would have been pretty good. Uh, but I didn't. I'll keep this. We got the edict. We've got. Another edict? Wait, is this another creep? Oh no. All right, I need some garbage. Stat. And I need to add the black surveil lands to here. 
You're right. I need the theater. The theater in the back street, at least. I mean, back, I, I think the other one doesn't matter. Do I think Damnation would be a good addition to the format? Absolutely. Uh, do I want to hit the elf? Gotta hit the elf. This card isn't getting any better. Oh yeah, I think this card's bad, but it's really cool. I mean, I like it for Commander. What Wheeler, abusing magic. The, <laughs> the most powerful insult anybody could make. Well, I like it for Commander. All right, Cackles. Oh yeah. Uh, I'll take bloats. Big bloats. Oh. oh! What a top deck! What a top deck! <laughs> the fucking harpooner! Oh! oh Jesus! Right, give me a land. All right, now we're cooking. We're cooking. All these cards are gas. You got to get rid of one of them. That was messed up. And nobody said anything. Nobody, nobody said anything. They played a harpoon. They top decked the crawl harpooner to kill my cackling overseer. Megatron man, welcome back for the eighth month. Ah, oh, rats, eight months already. Oh no. Not this magic card, please. Mm. Well, I think I'm playing you. I think I'm sacrificing this. I don't want to transform just yet. I think I can get, yeah. The Pelt Collector off the board because they want to cast this card, right? They want to hit a land and then cast a 7 7. Holy fuck, this card's good. A Blizzard Probe. No, 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 no. <laughs> Shit, not like this. Not like this, dog. Not like this. Um, I'm going to keep this in my hand. I think I'm just chump blocking here. Trying to cash in for two cards. Top deck. I mean, the top of the deck is truly the scariest part. Like, I can't hand attack the top of their deck. You get to draw two cards here. Call it three. Uh... Yeah. Troll can't even kill this. That's pretty sick. But check this out. Boom. Exiled. Huh? Huh? They could back up onto this card. Oh fuck, it gains trample? Uh, do I just take eight? This blocks that, this blocks that. We play a chump blocker for that. I think I just take eight. You get to find a, a land. That's scarier than any possible card to find. Uh, so what happens if I play troll here? If I play troll, this box there, that box there, troll box there, or this box there, that box there, troll blocks that. Troll's just so big. I think I, I jam troll here. The life, the life gain on this is kind of hot. <sighs> Which I guess maybe saves me from another big card or just dead to questing beasts or ferox or shifting ceratops or 
whatever. I kind of just have to hope I don't. They don't have it. Like I'm dead if I play Soren and make the vamp on that, anyways. This matchup seems brutal, but I will go for a run back. Oh, we're dead to so many things. And I don't think I can actually afford to play around that. Okay, how does perpetually work with base power and toughness? I assume it's base power and toughness becomes a 5-3 and then it gets plus 4 plus 4, so it's going to be a 9-7. It's been a long time since I've actually interacted with perpetual. Uh, so if that's the case, a 9-7, 5, 6, 7, 8. I mean, I could put these two in front. If I put all three in front, I mean, I could have put these two in front. Could put the Ironclad Necromancer too. I think I'm blocking like this. If they had a kill spell, they would have done, they would have used it, right? Unless I just drew it off of this. But the instant speed kill spells are like what? Inscription and Master's Rebuke? Okay, not, not going for the Trample. They want to cast a spell this turn. Get to draw two more cards, two more chump blockers. Five cards. I'll take another Necromancer. Makes two bodies. Hello, Wheeler. How are you? I'm doing all right. How are you doing? Oh, no. Oh, no. The Dubla creature? Is this the stupid frog? It's going to be the, uh, the, the Iguana Donna Yabba Dabba Do. Uh, make a two, three block block. Oh God. This is so bad. Oh yeah. Yeah. It grows every time it attacks. Yeah. We're not in a great spot. What do we get? Ha ha. Jukai Liberator. I, I'm just daubs to this, right? Is there another green one that it could be? The gardener. It's the gardener. <laughs> I gotta I gotta dip into some delusion here. It's the gardener. It always was. Also, I realized I didn't turn on this light. Hey, it's your boy. Oh. It's the gardener. What does this card even do? I mean, I think I have to block as though it's nothing, right? Like I have to make this block. I'm dead either way. I'm dead if they have it. There's no playing around it. So I have to block as though this is not something. Oh, it's the fucking tree. <laughs> oh, it's the Dungrove Elder. I think this deck needs a wrath. It was the bush. Take a Thieves Guild Enforcer. No, my Xander's Wake. Ooh. I'm actually coming back in this game. Like unironically, we are we are making a comeback here. <clears throat> because nobody expects the Thieves Guild Enforcer. <laughs> uh so no matter how I block I die, or no, how, no matter how I block, everything dies. So block, block, block. Bam, bam, bam. Gain some life, kill the board, draw a card. Callous Blood Mage. All right, brick. Woo, we're coming back. We're coming back, baby. Oh yeah, we definitely need uh, at least the green black uh, surveil land for this card. Um. Oh, 
both of these make three bodies. This body gains me life. Put it on that. I think I'm going to cash in this call the ring on the blood token. Maybe I should have done that before the turn. I don't know. I, I'll, I'll, I'll give it another turn. Love struck beast. Playing the love struck beast. Okay. Um, nah, I think I want to. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to use this call the ring. I'm uh, pretty low. And like, even if we hit a land. Uh huh. Two bodies. I'm just going to play the card that makes two bodies. What's the scariest thing they could have from here? Maybe it's the Doom Scar? I mean, it's probably this thing. I was trying to see if they have anything with haste, and Doomscar can represent immediate trample, so that was also on my radar. I do think it's kind of unlikely that they will have something to get it back, but you never know. They foretold. Oh shit. Uh, Lupine. Oh, my cat's blocked by my. <clears throat> the Fortel Mono Green card. Lupine Harbingers. It could be Sirulf Packmate. Yeah, hi. And now, the stars of it's that Scarecrow. It's going to be the Scarecrow. I knew it. Or the Battle Mammoth. Oh. Jam Davis, welcome. How are you doing, folks? Glad to have you. Good to see you. Oh my god, it's early. All right, this is not the best. Wait, is there really no land in the graveyard? Oh, it's because Hong Kong, not an activated ability. Uh, welcome, everybody. I hope you had a good stream. Uh, thank you for the raid. We're playing Gladiator. If you don't know what Gladiator is, it's 100 card singleton on Arena, no commanders or anything like that. Uh, with a short ban list of all the cards you probably don't want to run into anyways. And, uh... I'm playing... <laughs> I'm playing a bit of a meme deck today. It's called Rat Scam. Uh, if you haven't played Gladiator, it is going to be a midweek magic event. Coming up. Yes, I hear you. I think I want to get this 5-5 five five off the table. And then I'm just chilling. I'm cold chilling. This is a deck called Rat Scam. Started out as a meme, continued as a meme. Yes, I hear you. My cat is losing her mind because she heard the word rat. How do you find opponents? There's a Discord with about 8,000 people on it um, where you can find opponents through there. When it becomes the midweek magic event, then you can find opponents through that as well. I'm going to play all these cards. I should maybe play the sword this turn too. Uh, is there... Sequencing. Great, great sequencing. I guess I haven't cast a creature yet. And I don't have an artifact anywhere. I guess now I want to get rid of the Doom Scar Warrior. <clears throat> yeah, it's the midweek uh, midweek magic uh, spotlight on April 9th. It'll be a lot of fun. It'll be tons of fun. They have a card in their hand. Show me, show me your secrets. Show me your secrets. Oh, loud cat. Show me your treatments. Um. I could just play this Biting Palm. I think the way that I lose is by not blocking enough. Also, getting a Menace creature down is pretty good. I don't know. Just building a, uh, a gigantic board. Um, 
I can start attacking. I can start attacking. This has the lowest toughness, so I'm going to start attacking. Even if it trades with their 1-1, one, one, that's fine. Should have attacked first, but that's okay. I feel like I'm in a pretty good position here where next turn we can actually just smash with everything. Yeah. Wow, I cannot believe we crawled back from that. That was... That looked dire. That looked real bad. <clears throat> I don't know if there's a article about the midweek magic for Gladiator, but uh, midweek magic Gladiator. Hi. No. When you, when I googled midweek magic gladiator, the first result was somebody complaining about an old midweek magic and saying they wish it was more like the gladiator event that was all access, which is kind of cool. Uh, yeah, it's uh, April 9th. It's on the schedule there. I don't think, uh, yeah, they haven't done the the big post about it yet. Uh, so this Liliana is going to be able to take care of this ascendant pack leader oh the forceful no not anymore oh i should have responded maybe with this oh i have one land hold on my opponent has th this is their board hold on this is your board you uh, i haven't even played a card <laughs> i haven't even done anything Do I think gladiator lands can be a thing? Oh, absolutely. There are a couple of different ways you can build it. Uh, there's like an Abzan lands and a four color lands deck that kind of plays well the way you would imagine. Um, oh yeah. Luris and trade with their pack leader. They're low on cards. I could acquisitions expert them, but I don't really want them to be in a spot of like, did you draw a land or not to play your four drop? But I'll, I'll play the, the Lurus. I will trade my Lurus with their 3-2. I know that I can get the Acquisitions Expert going, but I am terrified. Yeah. Got a pack leader. Got a love struck beast. I hear creatures are so big. Does this deck have a Schmied Hook Massacre? It feels like this deck should have a Meat Hook Massacre at the very least. Like if we're not playing the cover-up card. And Meat Hook Masker. This deck needs a Meat Hook Masker. Uh, what am I doing here? Acquisitions A, uh, Expert, and Call of the Ring. This is my mana the best. Um, I could play Liliana. I kind of want to play Liliana as a way to try and steer their attention towards this. It also, by killing this, it means that the Lovestruck Beast isn't going to be able to attack. And we'll we'll deal with that later. Now, if they want to kill the Liliana, I'm at least, uh, you know, saving some life. I feel like I don't have the time to give this deck a oh, full update. Ooh. What are you going to do for me? It's combat damage. Oh, all right. Here, here's the plan. Here's the plan. We're so... Wait, we're dead. They have a face to save. <laughs> no, 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 no. Here's the plan. Here's the plan. Here's the plan. All right, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. It has reach. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, 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 okay. Take it. Take that. Yeah, get, get the fuck out of here. Get this canker bloom out of here. Now we're dead on board. But what if they don't know that? Why can't I use Prime Sub? Please take your pennies, Benjamin. I'm trying. I'll take all your money. Abusing magic. Yeah. Oh, you have the ability to make this hurt. Uh, but I go to one? Yeah, easy. Shit. All right. <laughs> Nothing to see here, folks. Nothing to see here. Oh, there we go. Penguin Exhibit. Welcome uh, to the stream. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for joining us. We figured it out together. Beautiful. 
GG's Parrot. We took a game off Mono Green. That's pretty big. If you take a game off of a top tier deck with something like this, um, you deserve to do whatever you want. It's like going for a 15 minute walk and then being like, yeah, I could eat an entire tub of Ben and Jerry's. That sounds good. I could, I could just, I've, I earned this. <laughs> took the flight of stairs at the office at work. Yeah, you know what? Pizza's on the menu. Pizza's on the menu. <clears throat> okay, let's get Schmied hook in here at least. Um, I find I don't particularly want both of these swords. Fire and Ice is a different story. I don't think I need Forge and Frontier. It does represent card draw, but... It's... Oh, wait, no, I have this Henrika. Get this Henrika out of here. Uh, and then I'll put the sword back in. I don't want to make too many changes. My Ben and Jerry's flavor of choice. Oh, it's uh, very straightforward. I'm a Cherry Garcia guy. I, for desserts, I'm a fruit guy. I'm a fruit and I have the palate of like an ancient Ottoman uh, prince <laughs> of just being like, ooh, what is that? Pistachio and rose water? <laughs> like, sign me up. Chocolate? No, I'm good. I'm good. I'm, I'm off it. Rosemary? <laughs> uh, a ro rosemary, raspberry and rosemary ice cream is, oh, oh, it's, it's, oh, yeah. It's great. Speaking of great, uh, I don't think I'm keeping this hand of uh, four land, five drop, five drop, call the ring. And I didn't add the other lands. Love pistachio. I mean, I'll... Pistachio anything? Ooh, pistachio gelato? Yeah, I'll fuck that up. See, this is just so much nicer. We have good cards. No, I wanted to get rid of the bad four drop. <clears throat> oh, I'm against Wormy. Oh, crap. All right, well... Show me what you're working with. We're going to take this questing beast. I will cut down this goose. So help me God, I'll cut down this goose. Keep them off mana production. Gruel, gruel big stuff. It's pretty scary. And we're going to just start ticking up this Liliana. And then can jam a Shieldred. And then, wow, look at this. We played good black cards. Now, all we need to do is not draw one of our bad black cards. <clears throat> you can thought seize commanders now. I said... This does put me in a spot where they can kill Shieldred with uh, Carnosaur and Frostbite, or if they drew, like, Bolt or a Braid. But, I mean, sure, it's Shieldred. So this is... I used a Mythic Wild card on this. People say, Wheeler, you don't make enough sacrifices for your stream. Well, I used a Mythic Wild card on this Magic card here. I committed to the bit. Yeah, it's actually not the worst. All things considered. Frost bite. So they found the surveil land. They surveilled Absence Pilgrim away. They threw the frost bite at the Liliana, which kind of means they're going to commit to the Carnosaur here, which is pretty good because then we have an unchecked Shouldred. If I draw a land, oh, beaut. Oh, beaut. Beaut, mate. Look at this. Two big donkeys in the air. You love to see it. Whenever you attack, each opponent discards a card. For each opponent who can't, you draw a card. Wait, no, Wormy, I'm not done. Whenever an opponent discards a land, create a 1 1 bat. When it dies, turn to toy attack. <clears throat> I wonder if we can get a mod for MTG bot. That anytime anybody goes like exclamation mark card and then like a mythic rare from the most recent sets, the bot just says, I'm not reading all that. <laughs> I'm not reading all that. 
Kind of seems like good mono black cards would be good. What do you mean? What what do you mean? I don't get what you mean. I don't I I don't see it. I think you really need to flesh out your mono black deck with um <clears throat> with um you know uh, I don't know if I want a Dark Ritual here. I could Dark Ritual Yogmoth. That doesn't really do too much. Ooh, the booty? Oh, holy smokes. We've got good magic cards coming up. The invasion's actually pretty good. I think I've got a Dark Ritual Biting Palm. No, fuck. Oh. Not this Domri. I'm begging you. They're going to be able to play the Cav? Ooh. Okay. I think I have to uh, land Dark Rit Connoisseur because if Cavalier of Thorns hits the table, what am I doing with my life? This also lets me use my blood token. Like, I can convert something uh, into, you know, not shite. Oh. Yeah. You're supposed to play good cards? I mean, as a treat, I think you can play some good cards. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, bye-bye. So I don't know if this Meat Hook Masker is going to do enough. Chupacabra. Am I just dead? Joe Command. Crab. I'm not reading all that. Inferno Titan's a human. Look. Looks like a human. This, yeah, this is just... This is just somebody's uncle. This is somebody's uncle that, like, does not show up to any of the family gatherings except for exactly Christmas. Um, What are you doing for me? You're... What are you doing for me? Like, just lives out in the woods, you know? I mean, you're probably just dying to Meat Hook Masker. I can Meat Hook for three. I think I'm just going to block here and try to save some life. This turns into a 4-4. Four, four. Am I waiting an additional turn before Schmeat Hooking? I really hope I... If I draw a, a card to kill Inferno Titan, we might be in this game. Is what I say... And then they... Okay, the Juice Goose. Right, right. Right on time, huh? Right on time, pal. Seven... Eight, nine, ten. Oh, oh no, hold on. Seven, ten, plus six... Plus two. I'm dead. I'm just, I'm, I'm as the kids say, dead on board. I can kill this loam speaker. I don't think that actually matters though, right? Four, and then we're getting hit for six. 16 plus one to pump. Yeah, we're just dead. We're so incredibly dead. Incredibly dead. At this hard, I know. I would start counting certain things and I'm like, ah, this doesn't actually matter. And then stopped counting them. And then started counting it again. Okay, all we need to do is draw the Shieldred. Uh, or rip apart their hand. I'll take Fatal Push plus Rats. So this is a two-lander. With a Brain Maggot. And we have Targeted Destruction. We have the One Ring. It's not exactly the Shieldred I'm looking to have with this card. Do I keep this two lander? 
How bad is my deck in this matchup? It's pretty... The big creatures are pretty tough. I think... On the play, on the play, it's so awkward. How how greedy do I want to get? I got Maggot on two. I'm not doing anything on three. I think I got a Mulg in this. This is kind of the last hand. Slightly better. I'm gonna keep um the 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 scavengers and the trespassers kind of fight for the yard. So I think I would rather keep the trespasser. Let's go Fenlurker. <laughs> yeah. Exile. <laughs> One of your cards. What do we hit? Primeval Titan. All right. Love to see it. Love to see it. Kept on top. Mm -hmm. ah, the great taste of crystal light. Okay. Fuck. All right, bluff called. I mean, we have this at least. I was going to do that anyways. Land. Double land. Okay. Paleontologist, that's kind of exciting. I do not own a copy of this card. They have been sold out locally. No, the thighs are my weakness. Good, we drew a snail. That's actually really uh, good for us. Um... I think if I can maybe clear up the board a bit, get them kind of drawing off the top of their deck, we can we can do something here. We can cook. I mean, Trespasser maybe was okay, although they're pretty flush with things to do. Trespasser doesn't check the two. I guess maybe I Trespasser because of the Schmied hook. Oh. Well... It's fine. We have death touch creatures. They play into this card pretty well. If we can draw the land. Uh, we did not. Hmm. <laughs> cool hexproof card. <laughs> Kothis is making it pretty difficult to get off the board. I, my, my respect for this card has gone up after having seen it in uh, uh, people's cubes. And, uh, I mean, it's just a beep beep vroom zoom idiot. I'm on it in mono green can lander now. It's just very fast. All the four mana haste creatures are just so good in green. It's one of those things where at, at first glance, you're kind of just like, what's going on here? Like, why is this good? Um, <laughs> why is, why is this good? Um, but then you're just like, oh yeah, the haste in green is just kind of busted. Like as, as a rule. No, leave my, oh Christ. Do you Tyvar stand me? Okay, Meat Hook Massacre, I'm actually not impressed by this. Uh, my thought process for the Schmeat, this doesn't target and this doesn't target, so I'm actually dead, right? I guess technically they don't have a thing to exile with the death rate. But... If that's the case, is this better? That could give them something to exile. All right, so my out is play the one ring and draw Shieldra next turn. And then maybe we can survive. They use their Bone Crusher Giant. So now, now it's Wormy. So Wormy's going to Questing Beast me into the fucking dirt. It's, it's got to happen. Uh, yeah, just haste on green cards is kind of 
kind of kind of good. It's pretty good. It's kind of kind of a red thing to do that you just get in your mono green deck. And uh, then people look at Questing Beast and they try to compare everything to Questing Beast. Oh, big boy. Well, I mean, what are you going to get? A fucking rat? Hey, you're going to get a rat. Cabaretti Revels, pretty good magic card. And a Melchior Rebirth. <laughs> okay. Um... Yeah, easy, easy money here. If they had gotten Shieldred, that would have been so sad. Okay, Dark Ritual. Into Shieldred. I mean, this? Oh, you're a 4-5? Gotta get that extra toughness, huh? Gotta get that extra toughness, huh? I mean, it wouldn't matter. Would it matter? Would it matter? All right. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I don't have enough time to redo, rebuild this deck or to tweak it too much, but I do think that I should get rid of Meat Hook Masker. My thought with Meat Hook is that we have a bunch of little dorks, but I wanted to include a Wrath, not necessarily for dealing with decks with smaller creatures, but dealing with a bunch of larger creatures in, in one go. Um, and Meat Hook Masker doesn't really accomplish that. So I think the Schmied is on the bench, and then we're, uh, is it Evidence? Deadly Cover-Up, that's what it is. So let's try this. GG's Wormy WP. I do think there is something here for like a very annoying mono black deck, um, but maybe you dip more into like Aristocrat stuff as well. Maybe. Who is this? You spoke, Patreon listened. What? I keep drawing the shielded and I don't know how I feel about it. Uh, I don't think I can keep this hand. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Boom. <clears throat> Never punished. <laughs> Never punished. Um, to do first striker. I mean, I could dark ritual here to get out both. I think I just want to lead with this. Did you smuggler's copter? All right, trading up. This is the thing about these cards. They're so bad. You can get a hit. They're so bad that, oh fuck. <laughs> that if uh, they trade for a good card, then we're winning. We stay winning. I mean, we are currently losing. Oh. Dusk Legion Zealot. I'm going to play this Worm Saboteur. It blocks this. <clears throat> Maybe I should have Corrupted Conviction. Just cash this in. This is 100 card singleton, yes. Now, the fact that I keep having this Dark Ritual, don't worry about it. Ooh, what if we quad block or triple block? Nah, you can hit me again. Attack Cowboy, welcome back for the 59th month. Played Paper Canlander for the first time in forever yesterday. Thank you all for all the support. 
Happy to hear. Hell yeah, and if I may say, fuck yeah. Uh, okay, yeah, I needed another one. That's good. I did actually need another one, so it's real. I'm glad that they sent that my way. Okay, land into Bowmasters. Their Bowmasters is actually kind of hot. Wait, no! Shit! I... Oh. Okay, okay, okay. I'm back. <laughs> oh, God. So stupid. Ah, why would I do that? I should have played Timeless today. That way I could brainstorm into an Orcish Bowmasters. Did I suffer another concussion the last five minutes? No, there's something about... Huh? Oh, I... Um... There's something about playing Gladiator with a deck like this that just puts me on autopilot where it's like, oh yeah, I guess I'm doing this. I mean, maybe it's the fact that it's not, like, for ranked or whatever, and so naturally I just give less of a care. Like, I'm not here to... I'm not here being like, oh, yeah, 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 and just kind of clicking through. But, uh, it does uh, rack up, you know. Could it be related to the deck not being good? I mean, yes, most certainly. Hmm. Here's a Lulu. If we draw a land and they play a Graveyard Trespasser, we can Infernal Grasp, kill their Trespasser, discarding one of these cards. Discarding one of these cards and then replaying it off Flurus. It's kind of exciting. Have I considered real cards? Once or twice. That's kind of a land. Are you are they trying to hit me with the surveil trick? This motherfucker's trying to hit me with the surveil trick. I'll do it. Oh, I forgot to attack with a bat. Whoops. Yeah, they're gonna hit me with the commercial district into surveil. Now, if they hit a double, if they hit like an enchantment creature or an artifact creature or whatever, then that's pretty good. I'm okay making this trade with the Malakir Rebirth here. Oh, they just kept it on top. <laughs> Want to put another land in there? Mm, now... Do I want to keep this Rebirth for the Lurus? Kind of want to make my land drop. I guess I have Nykthos. <clears throat> the Malakir Rebirth preserves our board, which also just makes Nykthos... Oh, not Crucy. Not Krusty. Not the Krusties. Not the Krusty Crab. That's a good draw. I do want to deal with this. I am a little worried about this Trespasser. Trespasser is just kind of awkward. I guess this checks the Trespasser. Oh, I can just get it with the, the Acquisitions Expert because <laughs> this is so funny, I forgot. Because the Acquisition Expert works off the Elder Fang Disciple, so I get to see both their cards. Oh, well. Uh, I think you're a little more annoying.
Now I'm not sure how I feel about keeping this Malakir Rebirth in my hand. Because my mana is tied up with Nykthos. I think I'm playing this tapped. Gotta get... I had to get Krusty Krab off the board. It's Glorp Shitto. If you know, and if I can ask, do I know when the next time you and the crew will be in Washington for Canlander? There's an event going on uh, second week of April that there's a, a, a car going down. Maybe two cars? In Bellingham. Going to play out the Soren. I think I'm starting off with a 2-3. Then I'm mana burning for one. Yeah. So very, very soon. <clears throat> Yesterday I watched you and Serge play can later at Clearing QWD College. Pretty cool. Well, thank you. That was a fun shoot. Um... I'm going to kill off this, just chump this to keep Soren alive. And then really need to add those surveil lands, but I guess it's a blood token. Uh, do I want to make another amp? I kind of want to do this first. Uh, reveal. They got no cards in hand, but this blocks the goif. Wait well. Let's go, Deep Cavern Bat. <clears throat> they could boot up the uh, hive if they want. If they draw a burn. Trying removal for the connoisseur is a little annoying. But we have better triumph. Deal with this. Deal with the joyf. If they kill, they could kill the deep cavern bat, then get the abrade to kill this, and then kill the Soren. That's kind of annoying. Kind of very annoying. They can only attack with goyf. Or they have to commit with attacking with more than goyf, right? They attack with goyf, I get to just block here. Okay, I can just jump block. If they really want to get rid of it. So I get to eat their Avacyn's Pilgrim here, if they want to. <clears throat> they might just want to make this attack. Abusing magic. Yeah. How dare no. You. Nah, they, they want to get it off the board. So I get to eat the Pilgrim. Yeah, they have the mana to do whatever. So I'm just going to eat the Pilgrim here. Perfect. Perfect timing. Uh, I don't even have the mana to be able to boot up the Hive and Bitter Triumph. I'm just doing this. There's no way you run Blossoming Defense in this deck, right? They could have a reasonable... F yeah, I don't care about that. I don't care about that as a follow-up. Ooh, the Scavengers? Anybody up for a Scav run? None of your cards have text. But my card has text. I bat. Make myself a 3-3 lifelinker. That doesn't attack your bat. Uh... A decent Canadian. How you doing? How you doing, bud? Uh, welcome back for the fourth month. Poggers. Watching my Newfin pug. Love from Nova Scotia. How you doing? How's it out in Nova Scotia? Never been. I've heard it's beautiful. I hope you're doing well and thank you for supporting the channel.
I'll boot up the old Hive the Eye Tyrant. Crundle on him. Uh, if I exile that, do I get Daybound? It's snowing right now. Beautiful. Oh, right. I exiled the wrong with the hive. Uh, it, it doesn't matter. <clears throat> this doesn't actually get ward. Now we've unlocked our acquisitions agent. The weather here is very off and on. It was raining quite a bit yesterday. Now it's pretty sunny and nice, but a little cold. Well, a little windy, I guess. going to be a bit of a pisser if they drew something to get rid of the scavengers. But it's getting... Eggs, we're getting real eggs, big here. E -S -S Get the Mirax and then pass. S Chaos Agent, welcome back for the 13th month. The uh, Baker's Year. Thank you so much for the support. How are you doing? How you been? Glad to have you in May. I say good to see you. Yesterday I came to the realization I somehow lost the Misty Rainforest. Oh, I hate, hate it when that happens. Genuinely, that stinks. Sorry to hear. Really tried to snow and Vic there for like one morning. Thankfully gave up. Yeah, it was really weird. It was kind of, I, I kind of felt bad. Like I'm like, yeah, this is kind of embarrassing. Are you snowing or not? Like, what are you trying to do? I literally didn't know what happened until like later in the day. Cause I, I was at home working from the office all day. Ooh, well, I'll get Rahilda out. There's a swords, a Tyvar and Sarkon. Sarkon? Mm, I'm going to take this tie bar. They don't currently have the mana for... Oh, it's an overgrown farm. Well, it slows them down. I thought this was the blue... Bl I thought the blue black one. The black... Uh, black green one. Whoops. Okay. Ravenous ratsing my way to victory. Kappa. Do you want to discard your land? You want to discard your land. So you're going to Tyvar or you're going to draw a land. You're killing the acquisitions agent. Whoa. Are you going to Tyvar to get it back? Okay. I mean, Tyvar to potentially get it back. Rahilda seems pretty nice. I'm going to City Stalker Connoisseur. Get that Sarkon out of your hand. They have a couple of redraws here. Got a couple of redraws here. Going to kill off the Stalker. What's the most expensive card I've lost? Yeah, Sliver Queen. Uh, no, I had a Tundra stolen from me. I mean, that's not really losing the card, but you know. Leads me to believe this is removal if they didn't start cashing in this. Bam. Great. Uh, I'm probably going to cash in the land. Oh, bones. Probably going to cash in the land here. Uh, I like having an extra creature around to pitch it to Rankle. But yeah, Sliver Queen is also a big one. Thankfully, I'm working out a trade for to get one back. Because that, that one was... I, I don't even know what happened. Maybe it got lost when I moved. Maybe I lent it to someone and they forgot. Like, the people I would have lent it to are like... Not the kind of people that I... I mean, obviously, I, I trusted them enough to lend it to them. Um, Elder Fang Disciple. <laughs> yeah, hit that Graveyard Trespasser. Uh, we're both going to lose a life and draw a card. Hit that card. <laughs> Get it out of here. 
Oh, it's the fucking pig! <laughs> it's the little pig! Uh, I got a two and I got a four. Good. Do I have a favorite table slash game board on Arena? You can do that? Can you customize it? Uh, honestly, no. <laughs> what did they say? Mm, I don't need to do this yet. Bam. Uh, each player sacrifices a creature. I think I'm just holding. I have a thing to deal with their next creature. If they have targeted removal, I have a way to turn to cards. If I get enough mana, we can Agadeems. Like Agadeems for seven, or uh, for four. So off seven mana. Like it's not that out there. I really like the April 1st one. I thought that was great. And if I didn't enjoy the tattoo sleeves as much as I do, um, then I probably would use the uh, the 90s board ones. I think I'm doing this here because they're at four. I can start, I can actually just like set up to kill them. Ooh, that's kind of a good draw. Uh, nope. the MH2 elementals on arena? Not yet. Not yet. Uh, Silent Faith, welcome back for the sixth month. Such scam. I'm doing my best. Oh. Putting the rat and rat scam. I mean, so does this. The rat isn't actually literal rats. I mean, I guess burglar rat. It's pretty important. Get that Rahilda out of here. Mm. We're at two. Out oh, it's cyclic. Oh, big stretch. Oh. I should take some meds. And grab like a protein bar or something. Scavaging ooze. Let's at least drain you here. They can gain two, so I go to four, but then that just dies to Spankle here. My rats. Any tips for a first time competitive player considering going to my first face to face tour event this weekend? Uh, take it from me, uh, someone that is so washed, you wouldn't believe. So washed, so squeaky clean. Um, make sure to eat, make sure to sleep, make sure to drink, make sure to piss, make sure to walk around. That's, those are the big ones. Don't skip out on food. Bring snacks. Call judges if you need them. Make sure you're prepared. Don't finish your deck the day of. Uh, between rounds, if you have time, like get up and walk, stretch, that kind of stuff. Get some fresh air. Drink a lot of water. Cycle your fluids. Bring gum or breath mints or lozenges. GG's HD WP's. Uh, all right. Let me... My goat will never be washed. I mean, some would argue that I couldn't be washed because being washed implies that you had it at all. Uh, all right. Extruded Clown, I'd like to get our match set up, but I'm going to grab a... Uh, Gonna grab some meds real quick and um, uh, a protein bar. But let's get some sevens in front of here. 
Make sure you got pen and paper and tokens and stuff. Don't be the hardened scales player that asks your opponent if they have any dice on them. Easily the funniest anecdote I've ever heard is somebody sitting down in a modern Jeep. I think it was a modern GP or like a, the, a big like modern like 10K or whatever. And their, their opponent went like forest, uh, for, was it forest or like aether hub or something i they were like they went land arcbound worker and then asked their opponent if they had any dice that they could use which is pretty funny game loss that should be kicking you out of the event or at the very least you have to uh, give $5 to your opponent and then go buy some dice. Basically, think about any kind of story that like grinders or people that have play in comp events have ever told and all the things that they focus on and don't do that. The whole like, I didn't sleep last night. I changed my deck last minute. I didn't eat. Uh, I was taking just a bunch of uh, painkillers or whatever. And it's like, no, you're going to have a better time and not feel like dog shit if you just, you know, have fun. Uh, one second.
Okay. <laughs> I, uh... DSA Travel, come back for the seventh month. How you doing? How you been? Glad to have you. Good to see you. I took some meds. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Did I bring enough for the class? I did just make a very large order for more. <clears throat> yeah. Took my meds like everybody. I get up. I take the little, the little vase. And I smoke from the very small vase. Kiefer called it a child-sized bong. And, uh, kind of agree. Jarsel? Wait, no. Did I put a one-mana card? <laughs> what the fuck? Wait, what? Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. What's that doing here? Holy shit. <laughs> they have an Ox of Agonis? God, I haven't thought about Ox of Agonis in a hot minute. Mm. Well, now I'm a little scared to discard stuff. I think I'm playing this Lily. Just ticking down here. Fisher Price Bong. It is very funny. It is very funny. It is very small. Is it flower? What? How would you describe the bong, honey? The bong. It's a vaping bong. It's very convenient. Remember that sick tournament play holding priority to exile an Ox of Agonis before it could escape? Huh? I gotta tell you, I bought this box of RX, the RX protein bars, and they're pretty great because I forget to eat before streaming. They're just like a thing that I can mange. Oh shit, it's this kind of game. Um, huh. But I gotta tell you, the, uh, there's a peanut butter one, and then there's like a, a dark chocolate one. The peanut butter one's not as good. I really don't want to make them discard a card. So I think I'm just doing this. They're all right. This is so tiny. Hold on, you can't say tiny bong for toddlers. The rodeo does not endorse giving. Hmm. Oh, the calf? God, I love I love the Cavaliers. Not just because they remind me of old Gladiator. Um, but it it helps. They're just so cool. Yeah, I'm I'm a, I'm a real big fan of them. They're a lot of fun. The PB flavor can be really hit or miss depending on the powder they use typically. Yeah, it's fine. It's just every time I eat them, I wish I had the like salted dark chocolate one. The 
No, the calves are playable in Gladiator. You just don't see them that often because they're usually very specific as to where they show up. Like, Calf of Night here occasionally shows up in these like weird black X decks that care about ETBs and whatnot. Cavalier of Thorns is probably the best one because it's just, well, because it, it is the best one. Um, Cavalier of Gales, I play in big blue. Cavalier of Flame probably gets played in big blue as well, or big red. Uh, the white one, I don't even know if the white one still sees play. Mm, do I want to Bowmasters here? I kind of want to Bowmasters here. Unless I get a land... Because I can shrink. No, I want to save. I want to get a normal land here. I want to save this Bowmasters, I think. Yeah, the white one is falling off. Holy shit. Good magic card. Ox is on the stack. Any mystical disputes to counter it. Holds down priority and cast Drown of the Lock to counter it. And once it's countered while Mystical is still on the stack, Exiles with Cling. Yeah, that's sick. That's the um That 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 kind of thing would happen with scavenging use all the time, too. Yeah. Love love a good hold uh, heads up hold priority exile thing before you can, you know, cast it. It's great. Mm. Ping that. Play the good doctor. I am the best deck in modern. Do that. Kill off that. Go to combat. Ooh, I'll take it. Dr. Han is a tournament grinder. This Yawgmoth card's pretty good. I don't know. Do you really think it's going to show up in other formats? Hmm. I'm kind of surprised they didn't ban Grief and Legacy. I don't know. I didn't actually read the announcement to see if they commented on it, but... Grief and Legacy is kind of messed up. Also, Legacy is in, a, in kind of a shit spot. Yeah, they banned Violent Outburst in Modern. And they unrestricted Ponder in Vintage, which is very, very funny. If you ever want to see the impact, the the real impact of cards like Orcish Bowmasters and Urza Saga, there you have it. So... The banning, banning is interesting, right? Because, yeah. you, you're not, banning shouldn't necessarily remove a deck in its entirety, unless that is the, like, act, the course of action that the team is looking to make, right? If sometimes a banning can be used to power down a card or an archetype, but still let it, live which is kind of what the violent outburst is looking to do basically it's just the play pattern of it at instant speed was too fucking good especially with force negation um <clears throat> but you know they didn't want to take out rhinos as a whole uh in doing so they kind of took out living end <laughs> So it's, it's one of these spots of the like, they make this change with this specific goal intended, right? They're not looking because they didn't ban footfalls 
and they didn't ban um do you not have anything oh my goodness they didn't ban footfalls and they didn't ban um all of the the cards they didn't like ban like shardless agent and ardent plea and whatever i would love to them i would love for them to just like fix cascade not like how they did with discover kappa but i mean i, don't, I pat sullivan patrick sullivan I, I don't know patrick well enough to shorten his name patrick sullivan um a uh i made a post about oh that's sick they milled the yard and got back an ancient one it's turn three made a post about uh a suggestion for changing the rules where cascade it would be better off if cascade just could not cast these cards without a mana cost like a non-land card without a mana cost so basically no restore balance no living in no whatever um because that's kind of shit right that's boring wait why do you have flying is there a wonder in the graveyard oh, my. oh no oh come on ref wonder that is, this rules. God, I love dying to this card. This is sick. This is sick. But then that's a lot to do, right? You're effectively just making a huge change to the rules of the game in such a way that also changes how those cards are played, where, and like why they are played in where like the most recent Cascade rules change was more just a we're trying to make the we're trying to make this mechanic actually work or not cascade uh suspend which is kind of similar it's tied into it right what is this oh sadisi oh i'm dead this cut down looking really bad I fatal push their first mana two mana eight eight, their first two mana eight eight, and uh, the follow ups. Mm. Hiya. <laughs> the one ring. Wait, hold on. I should have seen if founding was going to kill me. Uh, it is not. Don't attack. Don't attack. No attack. Yeah, I don't know. I personally would like to see the changes to Cascade so that it can't cast the zero drops. Or, uh, because that just kind of sucks. It's, it's, you had enough of it. It's just not particularly interesting. And it also limits some of the other designs that they could make down the line. Because now they just always have to think about this fucking group of like busted cards and free spells admittedly some of the cards down the line that they they could get mocked are other free spells so you know take that however you want yeah there's a bunch of things they could do um but if you don't want to change the rules for cascade and then you are looking to like violent outbursts, a lot of the decisions that they've made have felt very odd. They feel like changes that don't actually do a huge amount other than kind of just this cascading misery for the format, you know? Yeah, it's very... I'm going to keep this. It's a little risky because I need to hit lands. But if I can, like, rip uh, an enabler bowmasters into sword, that's then we're looking pretty good. Or just ban the three mana cascade cards. I don't know. They're kind of shit. Like, it's just... It's just not good. Right? It's just kind of miserable gameplay. Oh, the surveil lands have made the dredge deck so much better. God, I gotta run back dredge. 
That deck was so much fun to play, and it was actually pretty good. The, like, Sultai Dredge list that we have. That deck got so much better with the Surveil Lands. Holy. Living End is cool in theory, but then in practice, it's just like inst Instant Speed Wrath of God, which is also just not that great. Like all the play patterns, the play patterns are all pretty like problematic, right? I'm not saying you shouldn't have these goofy weirdo build your deck around a very specific way, uh, but you know, yeah, I'm not against root potato. But it does not shock me to hear that Root Potato has been jamming Dredge very hard. Modern looks like a mess of the format, and I think the apprehension about MH3 is not without justification. Yeah, I think it's totally reasonable for people to be like, uh, I mean, what's, uh, what, do you, what are we going to do? What are we looking at? How is it going to turn out? And then also just being like, well, if it's going to be so impactful, why make a huge change to Modern? Um, One of the things that I've seen consistently is that like, People were complaining that modern just isn't fun. I know fun is subjective and all that, but it's just the gameplay is not particularly interesting. And it is just kind of a lot of masturbatory kind of decks, not even just from a combo perspective. Although like what the top decks are like, right? Not that rhinos is, is combo or was combo. Oh, the cruise with the bow masters. Who are you, Ben Wheeler? Well, making you discard a card from your hand with the stalker is kind of, it's just this Lotlet Giant, right? Be very funny if they discard something that oh, was a Lotlet Giant. I think the format's the most, I think it's the most fun format. Modern is really cool at an FNM level. This is something, I, I mean a bit of a hater on Modern. I played a lot of Modern back in the day. Like I played when the format started and when it was the PTQ format and all that. Um, played it a lot, had a bunch of different decks, had all my decks banned, you know, that kind of thing. Had a deck banned, would still play, whatever. Um, and it's always, in my opinion, it's always been kind of shite. But kind of shite in, in a way in which it is... Um, yeah, kind of shite in a way that is still just really fun at like an F and M playing on like ladder kind of level, you know, which has quite a bit of value. That's the main way people play, right? Just playing at their weekly events or whatever. They play their kind of their pet deck. They go three and two or four and one at their, uh, you know, weekly event. And that feels great. At the top level, uh, just like, I don't know, Rhino's Yogmoth Amulet. It's not the most exciting. As somebody that played Amulet Titan, like I played during the Summer Bloom era, and then I played a little bit after that too. <clears throat> oh, that was my bag. Never mind. Oh, my, my Aklazots. Is Pioneer fun to play now? I know Pioneer was also kind of shit. I haven't heard much word of it. It was shit before, but then a bunch of bannings happened. According to Pywo? Okay, okay. What about an unbiased source? Oh, yeah, Phoenix. Right, Phoenix is really good right now. If I like Phoenix, I do like Phoenix. GGWP, gonna need that list, please, and thank you. I'm gonna need that dredge list. I'm gonna need that dredge list. Please and thank you.
I'm like hyper vigilant about not missing my appointment today because I don't want to be late and I don't want to be rude. And I really need this massage. I have not had a massage since. Well, now I'm curious. This is what everybody came here for, right? Let's play the game. Actually, can we, let's get points on the line for this. Let's get points on the line for this. When do you think the last time I had a massage was? For those that don't know, I get a uh, regular uh, massage therapy uh, in a continuing, in continuing treatment to uh, unfuck my body. Wow, a lot of websites updated their. Did they? Uh, did a lot of websites just update everything all at once? This is so wild. I got, I would get them regularly. The last time that I had it a massage. Okay, I got, I've got the date. I've got the time. I've got the, I got the time. Do we got any money on this? Any action? Who wants action? Uh, Salami Superstar, please fight me. He's massaging himself right now. I'm jerking off under the desk. One year, last fall sometime, four months ago. This actually does it pre-concussion. No, this is, if, maybe I hyped this up too much. It's literally been two months, but that's a long time for me. It was January 11th. What the fuck was I doing? What did I do? What happened to February? What happened to February? I was at a magic convention. You got to get the massage if you're going to the magic convention. 40 years in one month for me? Not a, Are you not a massage person? I know there are some people that are not massage people. That was two set releases ago. It's this damn leap here. Do they offer a happily ever after at the massage at the magic con? Like a, like a happy ending? I'm actually shocked that they don't have like massage tables or massage chairs at a magic con. Could you imagine just like 3 0 your draft and then celebrating with like a 30 minute massage? I have no idea how to find like a good massage place. Do you? I don't imagine the smell. Yeah, I guess actually part of that. Okay, hold on. <laughs> hold on. It'd be right. O2 milkshake. O2 milkshake 30 massage. Behold my disciple. Uh thank you extruded clown for the deck list. God bless. God bless. I wish I got a massage bit sometime because my back is mess messed up. Highly recommend it. Highly recommend it. The thought of strangers touching me makes my skin crawl. They, that's what I mean, is that there are folks that are just really not into it. Behold my Ayara. Because I'm probably going to bitter triumph this next turn. I'm playing Acquisitions Agent. I have having the acquisitions expert with uh, I keep calling this acquisitions agent. Having the expert with the uh, with the Elder Fang disciples pretty funny. Oh, they big blue. They're big blue. <laughs> oh. oh, my sweet. Oh fuck. <laughs> big blue. Uh. I mean, that's a pretty good draw. Gotta admit, that's a pretty good draw. Show me two of your secrets. Hullbreaker Horror. I bet I can get them Hellbent before I get them. 
before I get them popping off. Back Narset. I'm just going to do this now. Thirty minutes massage made of money. Thirty minutes. I mean, yeah. If you, I am fortunate enough that I have, uh, coverage. But there's also, nope. I was thinking about the. I was about to say something incredibly Canadian because even if you don't have insurance in Canada, you can get uh, the uh, what? What is it called again, honey? The um. Fair, not fair pharma. Never mind. Ignore me. You can get it for uh, cheap slash uh, no money. No, not Cody. I was talking about the program in Canada where uh, you can, or maybe it's BC specifically, or even without insurance, there is a certain amount of the cost of something through like a registered massage therapist or a physiotherapist that is covered by... Okay, yeah, it's a part of Fair Pharmacare. Uh... Probably could have animated the mutable. I opt them all just subsidized. Better let them out. <laughs> uh, cut down is probably not hitting that many things in this matchup. Are there any recordings of me playing my Yosei deck? No. Uh, but maybe if you bring it up to uh, Vince, Pleasant Kenobi, it'll trigger some kind of uh, flashback. Traumatic flashback. I love the contrast of Ben talking about ch getting cheap massages in Canada while I'm here in the States listening to my neighbors fire off guns in the backyard. Holy smokes. Now, to be fair, my massage therapist does uh, use guns as a part of... Uh... Oh, that's a good magic card. Please. Yeah, I haven't recorded with Yose because honestly, it's kind of a miserable deck. <laughs> it's it's mono white. Hey, what if I just uh, got people to never untap? Isn't white fun? It was the like deck of like none of these cards are CDH power level. They're not even high power level. But I am going to show you that it is so easy to win a game with Mono White. Like, to just, like, clear out the table with Mono White. Ooh, Snappy. You got a Fading Hope and they have a Consider. Okay. This is kind of hot. Because now they... Oh, you don't have to... Oh, they, they cast the Fading Hope. Um... Do I want to draw? No, I'm just going to play it again. The real Kamigawa dragon that should have been banned. <laughs> That's kind of hot. They got the... Uh... I think I'm killing Snapcaster here. I can boot this up. Because I'm hitting them for four. And then they are going to play Kefnet. I eat it Kefnet. I get Ayara back with this. And then I hit them for another four and they go to five. Ooh, the Swarm Sabatel. Yield my Swarm Sabatel. I 
I'm going to return my expert. If I'm playing a deck with this card, I gotta really make sure I don't call it Acquisitions Agent. I don't know why I do it every single time. Maybe it's because it's a rogue. I just, and there's another, there's gotta be a card from that rogue deck that's called something Agent. That is an Agent of Treachery. Let's see. Is there a card? There's Agent of Acquisitions. That's what it is. Fuck. Agent of Acquisitions, the conspiracy card. Yeah, I like those conspiracy cards. They're fun. I like conspiracy draft in general. I drafted a lot of conspiracy too. You want to know what the best card in conspiracy two is? If you ever catch yourself drafting conspiracy two, the best card to pick. No, 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 no. World nip. No, you're th you're overthinking it. It's Sylvan Bounty. <clears throat> it's Sylvan Bounty. I'll tell you why. It lets you hit your land drops. Lets you play a variety of different colors in your list. Um, it's target player. So you can, somebody can be like, I'm attacking you for lethal. And you can save them and be like, I saved your life. They tried to kill you. Let's kill them. And then you get yourself into a better position of killing uh, off the whole table. Or you could just fog. Oh. Uh, I think it's gotta be Aether Chandler, right? Could I be any more of a 2-1? I don't actually have a hand to punish this Ascendant Spirit. I mean, I can play out Skitters. Chupacabra. I think I should play out Skitters. Getting Skitters on the board against a blue deck, unless they drew Memory Lapse or Counterspell. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, now they... Now the Mu Yan Ling. I mean, we get to kill the Ascendant Spirit at least. Big Choops coming in. I shouldn't have said anything. So now they have to tick down on the choop. They can make a 3-3, three, three, or a, not a 3-3, three, three, a 4-4. Four, four. Um, I don't really need to get the ring going yet. I think I'm just doing this. Gonna start eating their graveyard and keep them off this dig through time. <clears throat> Mobilize district. Okay. Hokey dokey artichokey. Shrinking the chups. Playing the one ring. One ring's okay. I'm not attacking them anyways. I'm going to be attacking the Mu Yan Ling. Mu Yan Ling. Uh, I think I want to convert this rat into some cards. I could wait until I Midnight Reaper, but I kind of want to do it now for the sake of mana. Ooh. I mean, the hand attack plan against... <laughs> the hand attack plan against the Mu Yanling is not great. Oh, it's target opponent. Shit. Right, this is also target opponent. Um, <clears throat> I mean, I could get my ring going. For some reason, I thought this was each opponent. Uh, that was bad, because I needed that to get them to discard the dig through time. They can play a Eugene here. Eugene make a blocker is pretty good. Eugene kill off 
I mean, they could Eugene kill off the Aether Channeler uh, because that lets them reset their ring. Sure, hitting skits. Big skitters. Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. oh. <laughs> this is pretty good. Sword. Uh, these can attack this. I can do that. I can kill off this too. Think I'm doing this? Yeah, I'm doing this. <clears throat> I keep the Muyan Ling alive, but I also keep the board clear, which is kind of what I'm hoping to do. And then Shadow Spear on a sword is going to be pretty huge. Have the swords be in this deck? Uh, I mean, they help turn our crap into <laughs> reasonable cards, but. They have been a little awkward. I think there's too much equipment in here. Um, like equipment's at its best when it's turning like reasonable creatures into really good creatures. And this is turning unplayable creatures into like reasonable to good creatures. The crown has been pretty good. Shadow Spear is quite nice. I don't think you need two of the swords. I don't hate playing Sophie. Forge and Frontier feels a little doesn't give too much of a push, which is what this deck feels like it kind of needs at times. <clears throat> I could just ignore Muyan Ling too, at this point. <laughs> Invoke the winds? They gain control. Of, they took my ring. You gonna, you want to draw some more cards? <laughs> yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Uh, Robin, welcome back for the 23rd month. Almost two years. Huh, that's kind of neat. Love the streams, Wheelie. Thank you. Oh, thank you for the kind words. I'm glad you enjoy the streams. Um, let me hit Let me get that dig through time before you're able to do anything. Okay. I mean, I guess I could Dark Ritual here. I wasn't going to Dark Ritual, and then I thought, hey, it lets me get down my equipment, and getting the equipment down in this matchup seems pretty good. Bam. <clears throat> yup, yup, yeah, cha cha. Look at all these, look at all this crap. Isn't this beautiful? Some of these cards are good. Opponent has a bajillion cards in hand and there's this one ring. I think they're really hoping to hit like Flood of Tears. Just trying to reset the board. This deck doesn't have the immediacy that other decks are gonna have, but this is my ring, right? So it's going to go back to my hand. Like, even if they Flood of Tears, or play, um... I mean, they could play the Tide. Ooh. The Tide's Fury? Hold on. Is this, like, a known bug, by the way? I can't, like, right-click and zoom in on cards. Is this a thing that everybody experiences, or is it just me and my arena? Which is a novel that I'm actually publishing later this year. Pro Blue is pretty strong in this matchup, yeah. <laughs> GG Salami Superstar, WPs. I had it on this end. Well, I'm trying to look at Kiora, and it's it was not working for me. I 
was trying to look at Kiora. Oh, wait, what did I want to do? Uh, before I get the next match going. Which arena would I describe as my arena? Uh, the book promo. What cards do I not have crafted for this? Might be the overlay. Oh, yeah. Sadisi. Prized. Wait, I don't have a prized amalgam crafted? Hold on. No way. I played Dredge. Did that Dredge deck I... I guess the Dredge deck that I played... This other Dredge deck I played was a little... A little different. Like, it's more just like fill the graveyard and then play two mana 10-10s. Ten <laughs> Shaking my head, fake Dredge fan. Oh, uh, uh, I swear, uh, I was going to build it for uh, zombies. You gotta believe me. Uh, annoyed and confused. Fight me, please. If you don't mind. Uh-oh. Notification. I'm shocked Magic continued to have a story after it got published. Yeah, those old books sure are... Uh, uh, you're not online. I do have you on Arena, but it says you're not online. Well, now you may have just logged in. There you are. Rat scam. Rat scam. What are some other cool timeless decks I could play? Rat Scam. I read, like, I read a lot of the original ones. I read the Odyssey block uh, and Champs block and Mirrodin novels. Oh, yeah, nothing till turn three, huh? Well. But I am first. I'm going first. None of these cards do anything. I'm gonna mulligan. There we go. Now this is a hand. I'm gonna put a land on the bottom because I'm greedy. <clears throat> a Thoracle deck? I haven't actually seen a Thoracle deck. <laughs> Yo ho. Avast. <laughs> right. Uh, I guess I take the Infernal Grasp. You have a Mind Rake? <laughs> Holy shit. Right, we're against Slime against Humanity dot deck. And they milled a Slime with the Surveil Lands? That rules. Well, unfortunately, they're going to get to slime. I should have maybe taken the other one. I mean, if I take that, then they just hit me with the Infernal Grasp. I took one slime. My thoughts is that this card is a slime. If they play a slime here. Yeah, cash roll, two mana, five, five, trample. Nice. Good draw. Go to get them hellbent. Discard another slime. Yes. Okay, now we're in trouble. Any draw step they have that gets a slime against humanity is actively... We're, we're just so fucking dead. Please don't play another one. Please don't play another one. Yes! Okay, we can win this game. Just don't draw a slime against humanity. Please don't draw a slime against humanity. Please don't draw a slime against humanity. No, stop. Burglar Rat. I've noticed that this deck plays very poorly into decks that just make big creatures. And the fact that every time I play one of my little idiots, it makes their creatures even larger. Ooh, a Specter Shriek. Oh. 
uh, creature token. Okay, brick, brick, brick. Come on, come on, come on, baby, come on, baby, come on, baby. Winnable, 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 submissive and winnable. No. Hmm. <sighs> no, I gotta go for it. If I can find three damage somewhere. Wait, I'm at six? <laughs> I thought I was at, I thought I was at 10. Why did I think I was at 10? Oh shit. You know, a little bit ago, I started to start running a couple of copies of the stone brain and decks because I found that I was going up against mono blue and mono black a lot. Now that slime seems to be doing work, I think I'm going to put it in most deck brews. I mean, as a sideboard card, it's just like a pretty good one to have, you know? Okay, I got slimed out. We got slimed out. Is this non-token creature? What the fuck? What the fuck, children? Also, notice how they never... We didn't get kicked out for maintenance, huh? What the hell, children? Exile a card from your hand if you dare. What could it be? I'm helping make your slimes bigger. No. <laughs> yeah, the shieldred doesn't do anything. Each opponent sacrifices a non-token creature. Or Planeswalker. <sighs> okay. Flotsam. Mm. Booty. All right, maybe, maybe their hand doesn't have a lot of slime. They have an, they have an old Rudiger. I'm gonna take this slime. I'm gonna make you commit with a bone shards. I'm gonna make you commit to this. Oh wait, this was stupid. I have the children I want to play. Never mind, I'm the best magic player of all time. Don't draw a land. Drawing a land is violence. Oh, thank God. Van Lurken. Oh my god. All right, never mind. Shieldred, you're great. Shieldred, you're so good. We hit the one target and it keeps them off slime time. Uh, okay, all we need to do is all we need to do is pray that they don't draw. Yes! Yes! Ooh. Oh, demonic bargain is sick. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I'm going to keep this hand. Banana bread? At work, dude? Hell yes. Well, that reminds me. Did I get accepted to do another one of those uh, cool and good and goofy and everybody has fun doing them sponsored streams? Please, this PC is not going to buy itself. A one drop? They get to slime on two? There's just no way. There's just no way. Oh my god, they didn't slime on two. Come on, one slime in hand. Oh, oh, the demonic bargain. Well, I'll take the I'll take this. I think I take this slime. They can so they have the demonic bargain for the slime. 
Maybe I should have taken the bargain. Because the slime, the slime is still just going to be too big for me. I got so distracted by the slime, I didn't process this was di uh, demonic bargain until afterwards. Can I do a home stream as Slock? Do you just want me to take a bunch of mushrooms and then do a stream? I wonder what they're going to get. Hi, Mulder. Hi, Bubba. Hi, Bubba. All right. Well, if it's for if it's for uh, a stream, then I guess I will. How big are these now? Seven? I mean, we basically have them on the ropes, right? We just need to draw one piece of creature removal. How hard could that be? We get the last card of that out of their hand? Another slime? Oh, a better try. We're a mono black deck. We have to be able to find something. We're a mono black deck. Snapcaster Mage was added with the uh, Innistrad draft, the SOI. Yeah, hi, Bulber. Did you get rushed this morning? Bulber got lint rolled this morning. I can't even look. Show me the cards, Arena. All right, I'm going to block because I think I need to. If this helps me find another card. Death touch. <laughs> yeah. Is my mouse greased up? Usually. Does Mulder like getting lint rolled? Yep. She loves it. She likes getting lint rolled. She likes getting brushed. Um, when I used to lint roll her, she used to get scared by the sound of me tearing the used lint roll. So they have another one, right? Surely they have another one. But now she understands that it just means there's more rolling to be done. Oh, take through time. That's bad. That represents double slime, but it puts cards in their hand, which means we can rat them away. <laughs> we can rat them away. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. I got emotional about drawing this card. Smash. Monty Fang Blade. Thinking with rats. Consider. Okay, this means we're likely not getting double... Double oozed. That's a big slime. I'm coming in. Knock, knock. Oh, wait, three, four, five, six, seven. No opponent! You forgot about the secret activated ability of Yorox Fenlurker. I could have also just hit them and gone to the Tomb of Annihilation. <laughs> Why do I feel more relieved about winning that match than any of the other matches today? Like, that was the, like, oh my god, there's, I, this is so tough. This is so, such a tough matchup.
GG's, WP's. Uh, before I do anything, uh, what? Do I not own a raucous theater? Oh, I just spelled it wrong. Uh, underground mortuary. Let's do that. Uh, ignition point. Please fight me. Oh, wait, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I am going to be responsible. Tell you what. Tell you what, chat. I'm going to be responsible, and I'm going to call it there. Because if this game goes, honestly, if this game goes, I, I looked at the clock. I got to leave in like 15 minutes. And not that Rat Scam doesn't have a huge amount of pressure. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that. And I obviously don't want to be late to my appointment. However, this was a short stream. Now hear me out. This is a short stream. I will do a second bonus stream after my appointment. We'll go live and we'll play more. And I'll keep the queue set. If you can't play, don't worry. I'm not going to push you out of the queue. But I'll be... Uh, yeah, you can add me on Arena. Add me on Arena here. Post massage... Yeah, my post massage rats. He slimed me and by he I mean I and by me I mean you. <laughs> this is a very good deck name. <clears throat> When's that? Uh, it'll be probably closer to like... 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time? Yeah. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. I gotta tell you, Rat Scam, meme deck. Certainly a meme deck. But this version's, a, it, it's not, it's not as out there as you'd think. I think that there's something here. Maybe with a couple of other changes, uh, exploring, uh, some different uh, lists or different uh, like curve setups and all that. Yeah, I think we could. I think we could really do something special. Um, thanks to uh, Amico Huber and the other folks that helped uh, kind of get the list to this realm. Maybe what I'll do is I'll come back and do a slightly updated version of this or check it out. But yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, I'll see you again later tonight. Uh, let me drop you kids off somewhere. Oh, I guess I should do my contractual obligated plugs in chat. Um, who's streaming? Who even streams these days? Could you imagine streaming? Streaming Magic of the Gathering sounds kind of cringe, my dude. Sounds kind of cringe, Kaiba boy. Hey, would you look at that? It's the premier... <laughs> it's the premier Hearthstone pilot of the format. Caleb is start... Wait, Vintage Cube isn't online, right? Oh, is it the Super Draft or whatever? Well, I already clicked the button and now it's lagging, so you're gonna go say hi to Voxy. Uh, and then uh, have fun watching that, and then hopefully I'll see you later tonight. If I don't see you later tonight, then I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, have a good one. Bye-bye.